Welcome folks, it's August the 2nd and according to the internet there's some breaking news. Now I hope you've got your torches, torches ready because it's about to get dark now. That's according to the internet. Apparently today, August 2nd, is that the day that the earth goes completely dark for six minutes. Yep, according to federal social media posts we're talking about a global blackout. Somebody's going to hit the sun and it's going to go off for six minutes now. Sounds crazy, but that's apparently we're about to enter a once in a century eclipse. Something that's not going to happen again for a hundred years. You may have seen posts like this, and this, and this. So, is it going to take place? Well, you know the answer, and I know the answer. No, it's not. Uh, so, where did this bonkers idea come from? Well, of course. The internet and social media exploded with uh, posts and videos claiming that astron astronomers said it's going to be a global blackout because of a super eclipse. And one said, Mark August the second on your calendar, it's going to be once in a century eclipse. Uh, they even said that NASA confirms that this, this will be a rare global event. Of course, NASA didn't confirm anything of the sort. Now, uh, so some posts did say that's going to be a, this won't happen again for a hundred years. It's like the Haley Comet of uh, eclipses coming, and of course, half the internet went bonkers over this and went, "Oh my God, we're all going to die!" It's some sort of apocalyptic uh, event, you know. But the truth is, they've taken a kernel of truth and blown it up into something that's totally unreal. Now, there's one uh, person on TikTok said a global portal will open on August the 2nd. The sun will disappear for six minutes and it's going to be a spiritual reboot. So control alt delete on the sun, please. Six minutes of darkness, total blackout. Basically, it's a doomsday eclipse. And that's basically how these posts sounded. It sounds like a perfect storm of internet rumor. You know, dice of apocalypse, sprinkle of pseudo sands, and a big dollop of, well, NASA said so, to make it all seem legitimate. And it spread like wildfire, it really did, from uh, TikTok to Facebook, the X, of course, uh, social media just went mad for it, you know, and apparently the entire world in darkness is that, of course, it's a scary idea, but it's practically, it is physically impossible to happen from an eclipse. So there is no eclipse apocalypse coming, certainly not in 2025, and certainly not today. You know, thankfully, many other people started saying, you know, why isn't any real scientist talking about this? If it's a great event, going to happen. So why isn't the likes of NASA and other space agencies actually giving us a heads up? No, NASA did step in uh, because it was, the rumor mill was going so mad, NASA didn't make a statement saying that no, none of this is going to take place. It is completely false. So we can all chill. So this is complete and utter misinformation. So actually the next solar eclipse on NASA's calendar is actually September 21st, 2025, so next month. But it's only going to be a partial eclipse and it's going to be visible from certain parts in the southern hemisphere. And a partial eclipse just dims the sun a little bit. It certainly won't make the whole Earth go dark. And for, as for today, it's going to be a normal day if you could a cloudy sky you're not going to see the sun but that's only because of the clouds and if you have sunshine and a clear sky that sunshine is going to stay for the whole day so can the earth actually go dark from an eclipse the whole earth of course i can't you know and astronomers you know, have emphasized this uh, when they see posts like this nonsense coming on but the reality is that an eclipse will only cover a narrow path on the earth and it's only a couple of hundred miles wide at the most and in terms of length, you're talking anywhere, uh, basically from a couple of minutes, I think the maximum is seven minutes. Uh, so no, the entire globe has never and can never go dark at once. The sun itself would have to disappear uh, for that to happen. If that does happen, then we're in a whole new ball game of problems. And of course we know when eclipse happens, it's when the moon moves in front of the sun uh, from wherever you are in the earth. And there's this and there's partial eclipses, there's annual, annular eclipses, and of course total eclipses. And even in a total eclipse, uh, totality only falls on a small specific region. 
you know, the, the moon's shadow paints a thin line across the earth as it moves in front of the sun. And for those not in that path, it's business as usual. So, and I said, even the longest eclipse are probably usually just a few minutes. And the maximum is about seven minutes. And it's only a local darkening. So don't believe the rumors you see online. You know, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. That's a Carl Sagan quote. So if you ever see claims like this, go to the source. Go to like credible sources like NASA, ESA, you know, things like that. Because when you see posts like this, it is frightening. A lot of people do get caught up in it. And particularly if you're of a spiritual mind, you do think it is some sort of sign from the gods and that something is about to take place. You know, but nothing's about to take place. I do hope you actually do get sunshine today. You know, as you can see from our cloud, well, we're having a mix, but no darkness. The only darkness we'll get is at bedtime. You know, uh, and again, I did mention at the start, this came from a kernel of truth. Um, what it is, in August 2nd, 2027, there will be an actual eclipse. So you're two years out, you know, and that eclipse will last for about seven minutes. So if you want to hold on for two years, yeah, you will see an eclipse. But it's just remember, the crazier the claim, the more the social media algorithm that loves it and boosts it. You know, many people aren't familiar with how eclipses work. You know, all too often, sadly, nowadays, we're getting our information from TikTok and Facebook rather from sound scientific sources. And that's why things like this sadly go mad very quickly. You know, and hoaxes like this do prey on a knowledge gap. You know, if more folks knew that no eclipse can darken the whole planet, you know, the rumor wouldn't even get started. But we are now living in an age of scientific illiteracy where we believe social media posts before we believe anything else. We don't even take the time to check out what's real anymore. And, you know, when somebody throws in a bit of mystical significance to this as well, people get caught up in their own religious mindset, their own, and particularly fear. Fear is a big issue around all this. You know, the world's a scary place as it is. And when you throw something like this in, that the world's going to go dark for six minutes, people will panic. People will think it's a sign. People will stock up on supplies just in case. But no, nothing's going to happen. You, you can go about your daily business. Keep watching the skies because universe in and of itself is amazing. There's plenty to see. And particularly when the sun does go down naturally at night time. Go and get your telescope out. Go get a pair of binoculars. Even use your eyes. Go get a clear spot and go and watch the wonders of the universe but don't believe but don't believe the false and spurious claims that are all too often posted online but what's it and remember the more extraordinary claim the more extraordinary evidence they have to provide to prove it so enjoy your day folks and i will catch you next time